Hey guys, fill in the blanks here, and welcome back to Let's Play. Wake up, Kirby. Let's play Kirby Superstar. Uh, we're in uh, Great Cave Offensive here, uh, the second save point, and uh, just random. Uh, by the way, has anyone ever noticed that this music is also the music in Smash Brothers uh, during All Star mode in between each fight? Um, the reason for that, by the way, is because Masahiro Sakurai, the guy who made... Oh, I, I apologize for pronouncing Japanese names improperly, but whatever. Uh, he's the guy who made Kirby. He's also the guy who made Smash Brothers. So, a lot of things from Smash Brothers are actually directly related to the Kirby games. Um, probably more so than any other of the um, franchises from Nintendo. I always thought that was kind of cool. Oh, Goblet worth eight bucks. Woo! It's a lot of crap presents. So as I said, we're, that was the second save point. This is the second world, the Crystal Mines. And right here. There we go. Hold up to get that. Saucepan. Oh, man. Kirby, you're so friggin' rich now. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This is the uh, Crystal Mines, the second world out of the four. Probably my favorite world out of the four. I think most people will agree that the third world, the castle... Um, it's not that it's not fun, it's just, oh, it's, it's almost, it's almost a chore to go through. Brass Knuckle. Now, I'd love to see Kirby with a Brass Knuckle. Cool power. But I guess that's, that's kind of fighter, so. Ooh, crash again. Oh, come, Poppy Brothers Jr., why? Amber Rose. There we go. Finally getting something of value here. I like how um, this world and um, the fourth world kind of... If, you, if you're just trying to beat Great Cave Offensive as, as fast as possible without getting any of the treasures, you can pretty much skip the Crystal Mines. Uh, if you remember at the beginning of this episode, uh, outside of the save point, there's three different doors. I went through the, the, the most leftern one. Leftern most, I guess is the way to say it. Uh, if you just go right to the, I think the the the, the right one, um, it's it's the end of that end of this world. Like you you don't actually have to go through the whole world like you did at the in the jungle. I think that's kind of a cool idea because you can just you can speed through it if you want. I forget what the war the the speed run uh, the, the, the speed run time for this uh, for Great Cave Offensive is, but it's pretty damn fast. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can go through it in 10 minutes without getting any treasures, which is really cool. And it leads you back, it loops around back to the door. And uh, th these are the three doors I was talking about. One leads onward to the next world, but, but two of them are just kind of circular areas where you can get lots of treasures. Here's that second circular area. I like Kirby's scuba mask. I love how it disappears. And there, oh man, okay, yo-yo. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of yo-yo. At least not for a little while. I love yo-yo. Uh, it's my favorite power. Though I can't use it underwater, so... Great. Ooh, fried eggs. Soggy bread. Mm, yummy, 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 yummy. And there we go. Bucket. And that's actually a pretty uh, random reference to uh, Mario and Wario. Which is a... I, I don't think came out in America. I think it was maybe Euro, uh, Europe, but... And I know it was pretty much just... It didn't come out in North America. It was just Japan and maybe Europe. Uh, and it was... One of the games actually used the Super Nintendo Mouse. And it was weird. It, it's not a bad game. I actually really like it. Um, but it's very different. You control this kind of... Uh, like a fairy... I think her name is Wanda. And... Mario has a bucket on his head, which is that bucket. You know, right here. And he can't see, so he just continuously walks forward. It's kind of like Lemmings in that sense. But it's up to um, Wanda, I think her name is, to, to place blocks and to take blocks away and stuff to lead Mario to the exit. And that's, it's, it's a fun idea. It's not amazing or anything. It's one of those games I'd love to see the, for the virtual console. Because not I don't think enough people have played it. And I mean, a lot of people have just never even heard of it. Summertime, the second of the, uh, the four seasons. Good job there, Poppy Brothers Jr. Oh no, no, you did that to yourself. I'm not done. I'm not helping you at all. I am a cruel, cruel person, but whatever. Here we get pushed against the current. Back to, um, 
back to the beginning of this section. Make sure to get this. It'll be pushed back, and you, uh, you'll have to go through that little section again. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and save again. I don't really know why, because it's not like I'm gonna get not like I'm gonna get game over. And I'm already full of life. I don't really know why I did that. Oh hey, I just noticed something. If I, Okay, look at Yo Yo's uh portrait down there. Doesn't that look like like you know when you turn on Earthbound and it's the like choose your file selection the file selection screen? Doesn't that kinda look like the background? I don't know, is it just me? Am I making things up now? I honestly don't know. I honestly just noticed that this time. Alright, after I'm done recording, I'm actually gonna boot up uh, Earthbound and see if that's true or not. Because that's gonna bug me if I don't. Oh, I love Yo-Yo. Clears out the room so well. Falcon Helmet. Of course, that's from F-Zero, Captain Falcon. Uh, yeah, Captain Falcon. Friggin' hilarious. Oh, you son of a... No, you're not getting... Give my... Oh! Oh, no. Oh, well, okay, I lost Yo-Yo. Frig. So now I'm, I'm in a bad mood now. I got Ancient Gem, I don't care. Kind of looks like the Magatama from uh, from uh, Phoenix Wright. I guess it's just a Magatama. It doesn't need to look like it's from a specific game. Um, okay, I'm doing good so far. I haven't missed anything. I got a Popsicle. I guess I can be happy. I miss Yo-Yo already, though. I hate those those guys. I think it's it's either like T A C or it's it's Tack or something like that. But they piss you off. Oh my god, they just grab your power and steal it. If you're a helper too, that that's even dead. It's even more frustrating because they'll they'll actually steal your helper. And if you're playing as the helper with a friend, oh, you're stuck in that little sack unless the uh, your your friend wants to. Uh, you can't even suck them up. Uh, unless your friend wants to help you, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they want to be a dick. Whatever. I'll leave that maximum tomato for later. Uh, go past that door. Oh, wait. No, I was supposed to go the other way around. Herpaderp. Herpaderp. I might as well go there. Grab the, there. I might, might as well grab this now. Get some more wind here. Gotta be really careful. There we go. Truth mirror. I don't know if that's from anything. It looks like it would be. I don't know. Alright, and through here, and... Ah, okay, we're going to the next boss. This is such a good boss. Oh, man. If you haven't played this game already, and you don't know what's coming up, oh, man. It's so cool. 8-bit version of the Kirby boss theme. And it's like an RPG. I love that. It's it's too easy a boss, though, because you you take turns attacking like an old RPG. And when the enemy... Whoops. When the enemy is attacking, just hold the, the block button. You pretty much can't get damaged. So it, it, it is a little too easy, but I love the idea. It's such a good idea. I love how you can see the HP. Uh, and this is actually where you can kind of see... Oh, hammer, 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 hammer. I'm not going to get that now. Uh, it's actually where you can kind of see what attacks are more and more powerful. Also, so far, yeah, so far no one has actually done anything to damage me. So, while it is a cool idea for a boss, it is very, very easy. And it's very ineffectual as a boss. But I think they were just going, hey, let's just have fun with this. I should have gotten hammer again. Oh, well, I'm good with cutter. Yeah, and as long as you, you block, that's, that's the big thing about this game. It's easy because you can block. Which is why I don't block very often. I love this. When you defeat all the enemies, you get a bunch of points. You get 170 experience points. Yeah! Humor points. There's this whole whack of them, too. Ambition points. Fever fever points. Honesty points. When you're playing uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra for uh, the DS, you can play through the games as Meta Knight. And if you do this boss with Meta Knight, it's stuff like three mask points or four coolness points. And it's all tailored to, uh, to Meta Knight. And I think that's really funny. Another trolley section because we got through another section of the uh, Great Cave Offensive. Um, I'm just... Okay, I can't check while I'm in the trolley, so I'll wait. But I'm going to check to see if we've gotten everything so far. Yes, we have. We're just about done, or halfway done, uh, the Great Cave Offensive. This here, though, the Ancient Castle. 
Um, if you want, you can go to the left here, and this will be... Yeah, you don't even need to fight the boss. You can just go on to the next section. Skip, the, skip it entirely. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go through the castle, but I'm going to go this side. The castle is probably the longest. Uh, probably a more difficult one, too. We're going to save. Look like at that background. Looks nice. All right, and next time, we are going to go through the ancient castle, get some more treasure. Right now, we've got 29 out of 60 treasures. So I hope to see you guys next time on the, in the Great Cave Offensive on Let's Play Kirby Superstar. I'm Phil in the Blanks. See you guys later.